feel better now. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Yeah, that's the one. There might be an M in there somewhere. Ah, oh, tissue. Boogers! Okay, there's no boogers in there. Chillax. No boogers in there. really hot here. I turn the fan this way, it's so hot. Um, it's not doing anything. It's 42 Celsius here, so it's 42 degrees here. If that was in Fahrenheit, like if it was in America, it would be over the hundreds. Adding on to that, it's cloudy and overcast. So it's humid as well as being exceedingly hot. Turn this way. Turn this way. Thank you. Ah, oh, air. No, 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 don't, oh, um, turn back. <laughs> Come back this way. Come back this way. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, hold it right there. Ha! Gonna have air on me the whole time, but I don't care. It's too hot. I don't care. Ugh, what was I gonna say? Oh, smart. After the last two videos and I forgot what I was gonna talk about, I actually decided to write it down this time. I felt smart. Smarty smart, smart smart. Ah, open. Okay, I got my two two things that I actually wrote down. First thing, I was in the shops yesterday. We were just shopping around. We were just spending the day there. And it was really, really busy because it's that, it's that break between uh, Christmas and New Year. So it was really busy. And ugh. What is the deal with women with prams and trolleys thinking they're better than you and that you have to move? Understandably, it's difficult for them to navigate around, but that does not give them license to jam the back of your legs with their trolley slash pram. And yeah, someone's actually, I can't show you because it's kind of silly and I'm a bit embarrassed about my legs. Uh -huh. um, but somebody actually shoved a trolley into the back of my legs and has grazed the back of my, sh grazed the back of my leg. Kind of sore, actually. It's a bit bruised as well. Can't you just say, excuse me? In my defense, I did get kind of ticked off at one point and I said, um, a girl, I was looking at something, so I was looking, I was looking at this. This is something for me. I was looking at some video games, and the girl comes and shoves in front of me on purpose. Like, doo -doo 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 -doo. And I got so annoyed, I said out loud, What happened to excuse me? And, what, and this is what she did Oh, excuse me, bitch. Have manners been reduced to this sarcasm? I mean, I really hate discourteous and rude people, they make me so mad. And I'm a girl, I can hold a grudge. So, I don't know, I just. They really think that they're more important than you. I mean, the prams. Yeah, they've got kids in them, but the kids can walk. But the kids are young. You are young. That's like the parking bays. The parking bays near the shops, like you have the disabled bays. I have no problem with those. Disabled can't walk. Disabled and the elderly can't walk very far. And then you've got prams. P prams for prams. That is the biggest load of shit I've ever heard of. These are young and able. These are young and the fittest of our population and they get to park closer because they have prams. I don't think so. My mum never had any of those. My mum never had any problem with that. I don't have a problem with walking. We'll park all the way over there and we'll walk. And everybody else seems to have a problem with walking these days. Walking, walking is good. Walking is very good for your health. I know, I walk every single day. Every day I go to the university. And I walk to the train station, I catch the train in and it's a half an hour walk to my uni, but that doesn't bother me because I like to walk and I get to listen to music. I get to sing on the train. Nah, pisses people off. I got kicked off the train once for singing. They kicked me off and I was like, okay, I'm a little bit tone deaf, but geez, wouldn't you absolutely love it if musicals were real? If people really did frequently randomly burst into song? In my defense, I randomly do that. More than often than not, it's around my house though. I would love it. You know, can you just imagine the world as a, as a musical? Mm -hmm. Check my emails. Uh, I hate this. I, there's chain mail. Chain mail. I'm not talking about the chain mail that defends people when they're fighting. Mama, chain mail. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about chain mail as in the, well, I think it's the most of it goes like this. Once you start reading this, you can't stop. Ten years ago, a girl was walking down a forest path and a ghost dog attacked her and ate her face. And if you don't po post this to ten more people by midnight, that dog is going to come back and it's going to eat all the cookies in your fridge. I, admittedly, when I first came across chain mail, it really freaked me out. Like, really, really freaked me out. I mean, because the first one I came across, it was my mum was going to die. And I love my mum. I love my mum with all of my heart. So, yeah, when it said my mum was going to die, I was like, no! Not my mum! Repost, 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 quick! I only posted it to nine people. And then I was like, my mum's going to die! And I cried, and I cried, and I cried. I didn't cry, but you know what I mean. I got really upset. And then my mum didn't die. I feel like a twat. Yeah, so I just really hate them because they plague them. Things that I just once they say, once you start reading this, you can't stop. Once it gets to, once it gets to the, you once you start reading this, I'm like, bye bye. I stop reading. Yeah, 
I am that ballsy. I don't really care what happened to some girl called Lauren who was walking through a forest. If she was a five-year-old girl called Lauren walking through a forest in the middle of the night, don't you think something would have happened to her? If that happened to her, I'm wondering about her parents. What kind of parents let a kid wander around in the forest at night? I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't let my parents do that. I wouldn't let my grandparents do that. I wouldn't let a bodybuilder do that. That's just plain downright dangerous. I question her parents and their ethics. The ones that I really hate are the ones where you like, hold down six and think of the person that you have a crush on and their name will magically appear on the screen. And then at the end it writes, it actually works. No, it doesn't. Shut up. Stop wasting my time. God, I hate that, and it doesn't work. There is one that works. I just put in, you hold down certain buttons at one time and like circles appear. I don't know that one, but that one actually, that's the only one that does work. But it doesn't ask you to repost it to ten people at once or think of your crush or some chick died in like 1969. I don't get it. It's so pointless and really annoying. Ah! I wish I had something to eat right now. I get angry, I eat. When I get sad, I eat. When I get any kind of emotion, I eat. Yeah. Your New Year's Eve is tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? I think so. Yeah, I think it's tomorrow. Hang on, let's check the date. Check the date because Kate's a retard. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow and Friday is New Year's Day, so obviously I won't be putting up a video on New Year's Day because I will be having family coming around and we're going to have a swim, we're going to have a barbecue, we're going to have a great old time. Um, New Year's resolutions. Last year I had a really good New Year's resolution and it served me really well. Um, I think it was last year and the year before it sort of carried over. Was when we're in our dancing classes, I, just because I never got corrected in primary school, when I got corrected it really upset me. And then it dawned on me going near new, new, new Year's that it was like, they don't correct me because they hate me, they correct me because they want me to improve. And that really helped me in my last year at high school and it really helped me in my last few years of dancing and my last few years of the last extracurricular lessons that I've had. And that's the New Year's resolution that I've gone by. But since I've started doing that just by myself now, I have to make a new, new, new Year's resolution. And I'm not quite sure what to make it of. I have to think about my faults. And I don't like thinking about my faults. I like thinking about what I'm good at. I'm not going to have a New Year's resolution to be less annoying because I love my annoyingness. I know what my New Year's resolution could be. My New Year's resolution for 2010 is I want to get out more. I know that doesn't sound like much, but you have no idea how much time I spend at home. I never go out anymore. Basically, it's because I don't really do a few things. One is I don't drink. I don't drink, so I don't go to parties and I don't go to other stuff. The only reason I go to parties is I would be the designated driver, but I don't drive either. And I don't go to clubs or anything like that because I don't have my proof of ID card or your age card. I don't know what anybody else calls it. We don't have a proof of ID card. I don't have any type of identification. So I can't do anything. I get invited to parties and I just don't want to go out. I don't feel like it. I don't really want to. I'm more likely to stay home and have not have a life. I like not having a life. Not having a life is awesome. Why is this taking so long? Ah, dying. Dying, dying, dead. Not really. I think that's everything I pretty much wanted to talk about. I improv like I often do. I improv when I do these things. I'm so utterly bored. I want to do a video. I want to rant my little head off about stuff and then I just spend the rest of the day editing it and then it goes up on YouTube and then no one watches it. Yay! I will catch you guys later. I, as I said before, I will be doing a guide video tomorrow. So, again, I say tomorrow, I mean I will be taking the whole process tomorrow. And since it's a very dodge around video, I'm gonna, I might be taking a while. So it might not be actually uploaded until the evening. But I go back to university uh, next week, so I don't know how often I'm going to be able to do vlogs or anything like that. Or even the guide. The guide's going to have to go back to being done on, fri on Friday. So you guys, uh, have a good New Year's, in case I don't say it in the video tomorrow. Have a good New Year's. iPod. When I was